as we as we all know, we are living in Germany, and yeah. Germany is um, known for a social state, a big social yeah. state, and most of the people coming here say, "Okay, we are in a social state. I don't do to do have anything for my pension," but that's yeah. not true. Um, unfortunately, it's very necessary to save money, yeah, and um, for your retirement age. But why is it? Why is the German pension so low? Yeah. So, so first of all, the German social system is very good. So we, in my opinion, we are provided one of the best countries in the world in terms of uh, social security. Uh, this doesn't uh, imply the um, pension system because you have to imagine the German pension system works very counterintuitively. So normally you would think that the money that you pay in a pension plan, right, is the money is saved up for you and then later paid out with the interest uh, for your retirement. That's not the case with the German pension system, because if it were, it, it would work very good because <laughs> you and your employer pay 18.6% in it. And if you were to invest it for yourself and have a good investment, you would have a great pension. But the German pension system, the, the money that you and your employer pay in is not contributed for you, but is directly computed, contributed to the current pensioners, okay. right? So, um, the system works as long as uh, there are many people paying in for less pensioners, which was the case for the last decades, but that's now changing, right? Okay. Because of the demographic um, developments. So there are a few less and less people paying into the pension system and more and more people taking out. And that's why the pension system is in such a catastrophic, <laughs> catastrophic state. And b by the way, just let, let's, let's do it like this, right? Um, I have a question for the viewers. Um, you, you can write the answer in the comment. If one got it right, uh, uh, then my highest respect. Um, how many people of the 20 million uh, German pensioners do you think get over 3000 euros a uh, pension? Oh, I know. And that, 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 that's gross. You know the answer, <laughs> right? But yeah. <laughs> and that's gross pension. So about 2K net pension, right? How many people of the 20 million? It's not much. That's it's not much. I you can, can write your guess in the comments. Most people say, okay, 10, 15, 20%. It is 50 people. Yes. In whole Germany, 50 people, not 500,000, 50 people get over 3K pension. And just from the government. Just right? from the government, yeah. And you, you, you can imagine when you work 40 years with a 60K annual salary, you will get 1,400 to 1,700 pensions. So, and uh, that's after inflation. Yeah, and the inflation isn't counted in, right? So okay. um, it's yeah, enough what, to, to... What, what, what you get from the German government pension is a drop in the ocean. So uh, you should definitely do yourself a favor and take uh, care of your pension yourself because obviously the government won't. Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> to clarify, you pay for your government pension and also your employer does pay for your government pension and yeah. it's still not enough. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And of of your salary, 18.6% go into the government pension. Half is deducted from you and half your employer pays on top. So yeah, that's Crazy. a huge chunk of money. Yeah. Crazy. And as far as I know, we are world master in <laughs> socials and taxes. Yeah, uh, number one, number one. So if, if you count uh, taxes uh, and social fees together, we have the highest deduction from, from the salary Crazy. in the world. Yeah. Okay. Crazy. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, so you specialize for English speaking clients and an English speaking audience. Yeah. Um, what is, in your opinion, um, the most or the hardest one to for expats to get if they come over here and yeah they don't know how the german system works what yeah. what is the most surprising for them yeah so um i would say that if you didn't grow up with the system you um and you and you don't actively research for it you will find it very counterintuitive as, as i said right yeah. so many many things are just confusing and many things are new right and that's why it's so important to also have good English speaking content and good English speaking consultations, uh, because when you understand the German pension system and know, um, then you also know how to use it to your advantage and you know, okay, it's not that hard to fill your pension up to have a good retirement, but you have to know the system and you have to know what fits for you. 
So um, yeah, that's very important for experts to understand and not um, not falling under the assumption. Okay, I don't know how long I'm gonna stay here. I I I will put this topic off because the longer you put it off, the harder it gets, right? Um, okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay, and uh, also the the, the yeah, language barrier, I would say, because yeah. most of the yeah, definitely. official ones don't speak fluent De English. Definitely, definitely. And all the financial education, etc., is in, in German. And also most uh, investment advisor, bank advisor, retirement advisor, they are all in German. And uh, yeah, and even if they speak English, they they are not specialized on the needs of experts and they are not specialized in explaining the system and uh, and the products etc to someone who didn't grow up with the system right i yeah. see that's a little bit of out of our our next question because um it's very uncommon for insurance brokers or even insurance agents in germany yeah that they focus on experts or English speaking clients yeah. because of course there are few. Um, yeah. And yeah, how did you get there and why? Yeah, yeah. So, so basically we started here in Heidelberg with, with our company just doing normal consulting as an um, insurance broker, right? We did you know, what I specialized on is uh, retirement planning and investment. So I did normal consulting for normal normal German people, right? And Heidelberg is very international. So I had by chance basically had some expert clients, right? Who, who were American, who were Indians who come from abroad, who work at SAP or BISF, etc. And um, by chance I had some English speaking client and I, I found a work with them uh, very, very joyful. And they were also, in my opinion, my clients that were the most thankful and the most pleasant to work with. So I really like to work with uh, expert clients. I, I really, um, yeah, found, found a niche there and that's, <laughs> that's how it naturally progressed. So uh, I, I was doing more and more and more work for experts and then also specializing on it, writing blog articles, doing, and now started YouTube. Um, and now my main focus is on consulting experts. So, but it started, it didn't start intentionally. I just found a client so, so good and so well to work with. And okay. I get great referrals from them. And uh, yeah, <laughs> that, that's how it started. Yeah. 